everybody, it's Lori with Behavior Education at Spirit Keeper Equine Sanctuary. Today is Friday, July 31st, 2020. The following is a short video that's updating two previous videos that we did starring our Norwegian Elkhound Monroe. The first video that you'll want to watch is about impulse control and Monroe getting ready to eat. He's doing very, very well with his patients while we're preparing his meal in his kennel. There's a short clip of him waiting on his pause table and me getting his meal ready in his kennel. And then that's gonna be fast forwarded to after he's finished eating and we release him from his kennel and I gather up his toys and his snuffle mat and his food dish. And so that's a follow up to the video we did on resource guarding, which Monroe is still working on, but doing very, very well with. Monroe has finished eating and he's waiting in his kennel. What I had been doing before was going to his kennel and taking his snuffle mat and his barnacle toy or Kong and his food dish out of the kennel. And you can see here that he's allowing me to do that, but he's just tolerating it. If you look at his body language, his ears are down, he's leaning into his valued resources a little bit and he doesn't really want me to take those things away. He's uncomfortable with what I'm doing, but he's allowing it or he's tolerating it. I really want different behavior from him than this. To prevent this behavior from tipping in a direction we don't want, such as him starting to growl at me or other people because he's so uncomfortable with his things being taken away, I'm trying to make this a happy experience and have him cooperate in this whole process by calling him to me, giving him some training exercises to do, rewarding him for that, verbally praising him for that, and having him wait on that pause table while I gather his things from his kennel. What messed him up today is Violet. He's still uncomfortable with other dogs being around his space and Violet ran over there to the kennel and he was very conflicted as to what to do. Now he was all right with it and he relaxed immediately as soon as Violet was away from his kennel and sitting on her own table. This has been a much more positive experience for Monroe and for me to be able to call him away from his kennel, have him run enthusiastically to his pause table, be able to praise and reward him while he waits there. I can go and gather his valued items. I carry them into the other room and put them away. And then I call him to come to me. It's another very exciting activity for him. I give him lots and lots of goodies and I give him lots and lots of verbal praise. I have him do a few more exercises to keep him mentally engaged, to give him a little bit of physical activity for any excess energy he may have. And he's getting lots and lots of food as reinforcement for this behavior that we desire from him. Next, I usually put him outside into one of our smaller yards, either with a few dogs he's very, very good with or by himself. This is an interesting behavior that he always does. He's very good at waiting and being patient. He's very good at listening to me. As soon as I give him his big biscuits, his final reward for all of this great behavior, he takes it and he runs to this igloo and he eats it in there. And he does that whether he's by himself in the yard or whether there's other dogs in there. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to always be kind and love your animals.